Hi everybody, Tim here, although you can't see me yet. I'm going to take a couple of minutes and review my new Silverfish high impedance microphone that I got in the mail a couple of days ago. Uh, let me just say this, this is the best looking uh, harmonica microphone that I own. Um, I mean, check this out. It's got this wooden fascia here that protects the element and the, the grill. It has this knurled metal ring so that you can grip it and not lose it. Right behind that is a little rubber washer, which adds a little bit of grippiness to it. Behind that is this hand-stitched leather. It's real leather. Uh, casing? I don't know. Peel? I'm not sure what you'd call it. Uh, Quarter-inch jack on an angle, and then this really nice knurled uh, volume knob, and all finished in uh, what they consider to be a steampunk uh, a design, maybe that's what that is. I'm not really, I don't, I don't pretend to know what steampunk means. Anyway, it fits in your hand nicely. You know, it's small enough to cup, but big enough to feel like a microphone. Uh, costs somewhere in the $130, $140 range, depending on your exchange rate. They sell it in pounds. Uh, there's probably shipping involved and so forth. Uh, but that puts it competitive with, for example, the new Shure Green Bullets, uh, which, quite frankly, I don't like very much. I bought one maybe two years ago. I had to send it back because I didn't like the tone. This one over here is a vintage. It's 1980, and it sounds great. But to get one of those vintage ones, you're going to be spending $200, $300. Uh, competitive mics like uh, the Bulletini, which I've heard good things about. I don't own one personally. Those cost 200 some odd dollars, 220, 230. Um, and there are a bunch of other boutique uh, uh, harmonica microphones out there that are in the $200 range. Um, so anyway, this one comes in at a nice price point and, um, uh, and it just looks terrific. Uh, we're gonna see what it sounds like in just a moment. I'll be playing it through a variety of uh, amplifiers. I've got my old Epiphone here because I'm a sentimental bastard. Uh, I've got my Stage 5 amp from Rick Davis, great amp, and I've got my uh, Kalamazoo for, you know, historical purposes. And with the Kalamazoo, I'll be comparing the Silverfish to what I think is the reference standard in harmonica microphones, this vintage short green bullet, so you can see how it compares and contrasts. I'll be playing uh, through this B-flat Special 20, which is also kind of a reference standard harmonica. Uh, nothing special there. Anyway, let's fire this baby up, this beautiful baby, and see what it sounds like. All right? Hey, everybody. I'm back. Uh, let's see what this thing sounds like. I'm going to start with my solid state epiphone. Spoiler 
silverfish silver bullet has more of a bass response, I think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Thank you, and keep on harping.